What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and this is just a really quick video on how to set up the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities of the Lumix S1 to use it with the Lumix Sync app on your Android or iOS device. So if you guys wanna check out any of my other videos in my series for the Lumix S1, make sure you check out the playlist at the end of this video. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so now let's pair the camera with the Lumix Sync app. So I've already downloaded the app for free in the App Store. And now we're gonna prepare, we're gonna go into the next steps. It's gonna walk us through how to do this. So you basically turn your camera on, you're gonna press the menu button, you're gonna go into the settings here, we're gonna go next to the wrench, and we're gonna go to the symbol right there. And so we're looking for Bluetooth, right? So we go to Bluetooth, get that there, and then it tells us now, see the next option that it says here on the camera. Go to Bluetooth, pairing, so we're gonna Oops, I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, and it says to go into pairing, and then do set. So we click on set, there's pairing. So please register the camera from the home screen of the Lumix Sync and select the following device name, and it gives me an, a device name. So on the app right here, it should give us the same instructions as that gave us. So we're gonna say next. There it is, it found the camera on the app itself, right here. We're gonna select that, and now it's gonna connect with the camera. Just give that a few seconds, we'll, we'll skip ahead for this. So there we go, it's connecting. Connecting to Wi-Fi. It says Luma Syncs wants to join the Wi-Fi network of the camera. So I'm gonna say go ahead and join it. There we go, pairing completed. Pairing completed, okay. And here we go, so now we have the camera itself. We have already selected it. It shows you the, the, the label of the camera right there on the top right corner. And here are different images. So we can import images, we could do remote shooting, we could do shutter remote control, camera settings. So let's just go to uh, remote shooting. So it says under remote control, it's gonna switch over. I don't obviously don't have a memory card in there, but if I did, you'll be able to see the thing right there that I'm shooting. So this is kind of pretty handy to have. So you can do this on the camera, uh, especially now that the, uh, since they removed the flip out screen, well not removed, but the GH5 has a flip out screen, the S1 does not have a flip out screen where you could see what you're shooting. So if you happen to be filming yourself, put the camera on a tripod, have it set to go. The autofocus for face detection is pretty good on here, but just in case, if you wanna have a little monitor with you, you can put your phone out and have it here to the side and you can be able to control different settings if you wanna lower the, raise the brightness, the ISO, the white balance, different things like that, you will have access to that from the, uh, the app on the phone. I would imagine so it'd be even probably better if you had it like on a tablet so that at least that way the screen would be a little bit larger. So you can, like I said, import images, you can do remote shooting, you can do shutter release, uh, remote control, and you can uh, camera settings copy as well. And as you can see here, I have it connected to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, through the app. So pretty easy process, pretty simple to do. It gives you the on-screen instructions, so it shouldn't be too complicated. And then anytime you want to do that, get back into it, you basically go to the camera and then go to the setting options and you can connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whichever. And then it will send you back into there so you can connect back to it that way again. So you can, act, you can actually program some uh, function button on the camera itself, like one of the function buttons up here in front of the, next to the lens where you can press it and it'll turn on Wi-Fi and it should sync up and connect to your phone pretty quickly. If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, just post it down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys as quickly as possible. And like I said, if you wanna see some of my other videos, you can click on either one of these clips over here to the side to check out the, the playlist for the Lumix S1. And I will see you guys in the next video review.